keep in mind, even though the car is not rolling yet, it is running, I am still waiting on parts, which is why I haven't done some of the other things that I did. I am still waiting on parts from CJ Pony Parts. I've had enough. I'm going to get my parts. What you doing? Uh -huh. They're out my liners. Yes, I wear liners, so if you're ever like, did he just talk with a lisp? I did. I need to move the iron six, six, six. Why? Because I'm going in here to demand my parts and I can't be sounding like an angry third grader when I go and do it. We made it. Oh look, it's my wonderful kids and beautiful wife. Look, but please don't touch. My parts? Yes. All my parts shipped yesterday. Nothing to be angry about. And then they killed me with kindness, so I bought more stuff. All right, guys, enough of that nonsense. Let's get working on the car. And tonight, we're tackling the transmission. And as you can see, it's obviously there's some kind of a leak here. At least there appears to be. So I'm gonna drop the paint off tonight, get a new filter in there, put a new gasket on, put it back in, put a little bit more fluid back into this thing, and uh, we'll be ready to fire this thing up and see if we can get these wheels turning. I can tell you right off the bat, one area we are ill-equipped for this process is the catch pan here. When you see guys do this, professionals do this, they have a massive catch pan to catch the transmission fluid that will come out whenever we loosen this. And uh, I got a tiny pan, an oil pan. You suck. So, I mean, I know it's coming, but I'm, I'm trying my best to not make a mess tonight. And the plan is gonna be to Loosen most of these bolts and leave one tight on this side and one tight on the far side. We're gonna loosen this side, see if we can't get the pan to start to drop and have the fluid flow this way into my small pan. Brilliant! I mean, that'll be, that'll be one of my little victories for sure because I don't feel like cleaning up transmission fluid. But um, that's a pretty nice view down here. I got really lucky with this Mustang. Really lucky. She's only a Rustang in a few places. I know that went quick for you, but it actually took me a long time to get those bolts out. All right, wish me luck. Oh shoot, there we go, that wasn't bad at all. All right, so the key was definitely holding this up close. Let her all drain out. Something very therapeutic about watching that. The fluid doesn't look too bad at first glance. Oh, and she's off. And yes, the gasket is definitely having issues. Unless that tore, whenever I took it off, this gasket is all banged up. Which could definitely be why there is transmission fluid all over the bottom of this thing. There's the bottom of the dipstick, that's cool. Coming down through here, right out there. It's so cool to get in here and see all this stuff and do this. If you haven't gotten a project car yet, I highly recommend you do so because it's a lot of fun. Just a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself an A plus on that job. We got no spillage anywhere. Feeling like a winner. 
What comes with the holidays anymore is an incredible surplus of cardboard boxes that pile up in the garage. Now I literally just burned all of the cardboard in this place. I can't stand it being around. Huge fire. Could have sacrificed a goat on it. And uh, now that I'm doing this job, guess what I'm looking for? Cardboard boxes to set this stuff on. Out with the old, in with the new. All right, filters installed, good to go there. You didn't need to see me put those bolts in. Got my transmission pan bolts cleaned off, ready to rock and roll. The new gasket is laying on there, so we can uh, put this up in there and start tightening stuff down. All right, guys, one thing I decided to do here is put the bolts up through the gasket while it's off. Because the gasket is flimsy, it, it doesn't sit on there flat, and when you're trying to set it up against the transmission, things get shifted around, so this will help hold it in place. I don't know if this is going to make it harder um, getting these bolts in or not, but um, it was a little bit difficult trying to get things lined up. So this is the route I'm going to go. And we'll see if it works. And that is a wrap for the night. I'm tired. We'll get, we'll top the training fluid off in the morning, get the thing running, and see if we can't get those wheels turning. That's it for now, though. See you in the morning. Okay, we are back in the garage making progress. But before we jump into this, let's check out this episode's cool car. This is Chris's 1968 Mustang. Now, absolutely the first thing that drew me in when I saw this car was the color. I love it and I've considered colors similar to this for the Iron 6, but I don't think I'm going to head that direction. That being said, here's what Chris has to say about the color. Chris writes, the color is very unique. It's called Silver Berry Metallic. I love that color. I love the stripes. Chris, thank you for sharing. It's a very cool car. Alright guys, we're back. It's New Year's Day. And we're gonna see if we can get the transmission to turn the wheels. So, uh, I switched from the temporary fuel setup to running the line to the fuel pump. New filter in the fuel pump. And it is drawing from this jar right here, temporarily. I don't even know if the fuel pump works. We'll see, there's a little bit of gas in the carburetor. The plan is, to get the thing running and not long after it's running, we're gonna throw it in drive and see what happens. Got a camera set up back here to catch the wheels turning or not turning and uh, see how we make out. Good news, the fuel pump's working too. You gotta get in here and look for any leaks. Oh man, we got leaks everywhere. That ain't good. Yeah, that's a good way to lose your eyebrows. That was my bad. I just didn't have the fuel filter screwed on tight enough, at least I think. I'm most positive that's what the problem was because the fuel was all around the base here, not just at one of these hoses. So that's awesome. That, that is awesome. To me, that is an epic day. Good, good news. I got to get in here and check the transmission fluid, but, um, you know, that's a good sign for the transmission. Obviously there could be other issues in it because I only threw it in reverse, neutral and drive. So, I mean, there could be, could be issues with, um, the other gear shifting, but at least that is a good sign. 
That's awesome, awesome, awesome. So far, I feel like I've been incredibly lucky buying this car with the engine seats, not knowing the condition of the drivetrain. Very lucky. One other thing, finally, look what arrived. The brake drums. I now have everything that I need to finish the brakes. We're gonna drop the rear end, get it all cleaned up, get the hose on, get the rear end painted, get the brakes all put back together, and when we do that, uh, theoretically, we'll be able to test drive this thing. So we are making progress, and then we are on our way to body work. That's the plan. Feeling good, feeling good. All right, guys, that's all I have for this episode, so until next time, take care.